Hey everyone, so I went onto Facebook yesterday and it pops up one of those see your memories and my post about my first powerlifting competition was up. So that means it's been a year of competing and it's been a little over a year, a year and four months into lifting overall. So I looked back through my my videos and my, my memory rank on my computer and found some of my older videos of when I first started lifting. It's so embarrassing to look back at myself in my videos because at the time I just wanted, I didn't care about, I didn't really care about looking a certain way when I first started lifting. All I wanted to focus on was strength. So uh, with that in mind, it was more, ego lifting than anything. I didn't really know any form or technique or any of that. I wish I still had some squat videos because a lot of my squat videos were on my older phone which I broke and I can't have access to unfortunately. I never had a backup during the time. But I do have this IG post clearly showing about my awesome quarter squat and me stating that I'm I'm squatting this weight for certain reps or whatever. I ate pizza that day, so I wasn't feeling good. Blah blah blah. blah. But I remember taking that that picture, and it was a video, but it had a screenshot it to hit the lowest. Let's talk about Della's dough. So as you can see, easy bar for life. In the beginning, I used to deadlift easy bars. I didn't know how much the the like gym bars were, like the 45 pound bars. So in the beginning, yes, I was doing the uh, cat way up through deadlifts with easy bars. And I remember when I made that switch over to the bar, I felt like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. But I didn't know how much it was. So I ended up just putting a 10 pound on each side. And I also clipped that thing. So if you can imagine me just getting done with my easy bar, walking into that bar, slapping on some tens, put that clip on, and deadlifting that. When did I stop my ego lifting? I woke up one morning and I had this email confirmation. Apparently, at like 2 or 3 a.m., I decided to buy my $200 Enzer belt. <laughs> I'm like, Hannah, why did you buy this Enzer belt when you're not even paralleling, when you're not even competing? Why did you buy it when you don't have the money for it? Why did you buy it when you were having so much NyQuil in your system at 2 and 3 in the morning. But then again, I took a step back and I was like, you know what? It's turquoise. So at that point, I was like, I wasn't mad at myself. I was thinking, this is going to be really cute on me because I love turquoise. So it came in the mail and then I was thinking, okay, well, crap, this got to be serious now. So uh, I decided to follow all of the awesome powerlifters on IG and it made me realize that, crap, I really am not the hot stuff. I'm really weak and my, strong, my strength isn't the greatest. My form and technique is crap. So I had to start over. Moving forward, change my technique, change my form from all of the videos that I decided to record myself through. And then over time, there's been people who've been asking me, do I even compete? Do I compete in powerlifting? And I just tell them no. Like, if I was going to compete, I wanted to hit a 315 on deadlifts before anything, before I started considering to compete. So one day, I said, screw it, Hannah. Let's do this. Let's get through this powerlifting competition. Let's compete. Come on. At this competition, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I don't even know what's going on, I can't believe I'm here. And that's why my, my uh, squat setup is uh, pretty ridiculous, pretty worthless, pretty... I, I, I look at that squat setup and I'm like thinking, 
what a waste of time, what a waste of energy. But you know what? I was really nervous, so whatever. That was back in the day. So here's the thing. I never expected where I was going to be at. I never expected that I was going to keep my blue belt or my blue belt as in karate or anything like that. <laughs> I meant my lifting belt, my insert belt. So yes, I never expected to keep that. I never expected to compete. I never thought that I was going to say, screw it, yellow it, come on, whatever. That's what I want to recommend you guys, just to have that mindset, not to feel so scared to fail. Don't be afraid to record yourself if you need to focus on technique. Don't be nervous and don't feel pressure. Don't feel like you're being judged by other people. If there's something that you want to try, then do it. Forget about what other people think. Do whatever makes you happy. In the end, because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know where you're going to be in a year. You don't know the people that you're going to meet. You don't even know if they're going to end up being your best friends. You don't know what kind of memories they're going to have and share and cherish. You won't know if you don't try. So take a moment for yourself and seize the day. So I hope you guys like this video. It's been an absolute amazing year. So hit like, hit subscribe, and comment anything. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.